Well, hi, all my friends. Um, so thank you so much for uh, your well wishes and everything that, that warmed this little girl's heart. Um, <laughs> uh, um, I, I got some test result back and I got you know, some different medicine and um, um, Mississippi Dave, if you're listening to this, I tried, um, I don't know if you tried this or not, but I tried um, liquid melatonin melatonin just a small amount uh three milligrams and it's fast acting liquid and you just you know put it in your mouth and man i i went to sleep like you know really quickly it's kind of an odd feeling because you know um i could um i don't know it, it just it, i can like feel something going on in my head but um anyway it just made me very relaxed and um I, I was able to get some rest last night. Um, so I don't know if that will help you, um, but it was recommended. Always check with your doctor, you know, before you do anything. And um, uh, Andre, I, I love you very much, but there's no way I'm doing that, <laughs> okay? I, I just cannot bring myself to do that. I'm sorry, no way. The onion thing was one thing, but no, I can't. I'm using a, I just started it, so we'll see how it works, a salt saline solution kind of thing. So, you know, um, salt always works really well with me with any bleeding issues and stuff like that. So, like with the gums and, you know, so you know, I hope that, you know, uh, uh, that, that'll, it'll help a little bit anyway. Um, until like I hear what it is that's going on, you know, I'm not going to try anything just yet. Um, and I, I just can't, <laughs> just can't do that. I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because, you know, everybody has their thing, uh, you know, what works for them and, 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 uh, you know, everybody has their opinions about stuff. So I'm not gonna, I'm not putting, I'm not poo pooing it. I'm not putting it. I just, I personally can't bring myself to do that so it's just my issue it's nobody else's okay um, so we left off at Swedenborg um, page 80 and um, uh, I didn't know that the president was holding a meeting with the Saudi crown, uh, crown prince right now Mohammed bin Salam Salam whatever okay um, so that's interesting um, Nothing that I, I, I want to mention about, you know, the president or Russia or anything like that, because it's still nothing has been decided. Uh, there is, um, if you would just please keep prayer for the children in Syria. Um, and the atrocities that are going on there. Sh horrible. Um, also, <clears throat> we have some kind of weird person who has decided to send bombs all around Austin, Texas. So if you would keep the people there in prayer and, uh, you know, send the unemployed angels to guard people and keep people safe, that would be great. Um, okay, so, uh, it, it, we, so we stopped at uh, 80, and I'm just going to just start from the top. Um, it is the same for us. The Lord is present in us and with us throughout the whole world. And the reason for this is simply that the Lord is not in space. God is the essential person throughout all of the heavens. The only concept of God is a concept of a person. The reason is that heaven overall and regionally is a kind of human form, a, and divinity among the angels is what makes heaven. Further, think, thinking proceeds in keeping with heaven's form, so it's not possible for angels to think about God in any other way. Uh, this is why all the people on earth who are in touch with heaven think about God in the same way when they are thinking very deeply or in their spirit. It is because God is a person and all angels and spirits have perfectly formed are perfectly formed people. This is because of heaven's form. 
which is in this is the same in its largest and in its smallest manifestations on heaven being in a human form overall and regionally um, if you go back to heaven and hell uh, 59 to 87 uh, on thought pro, pro, uh, and on thought progressing in keeping with heaven's form it is the common knowledge that we're created in the image and likeness of God because of Genesis 126 and 27 from the fact that Abraham and others saw God as a person and early people wise and simple alike through a thought of God only as a person even when they began to worship many gods as they did in Athens and Rome they worshiped them as persons by way of illustration here is the excerpt from an earlier booklet Non-Christians, especially Africans, who acknowledge and worship one God as the creator of the universe, conceive of God as a person. Uh, they say that no one can have any other ex concept of God. When they hear that many people prefer an image of God as a, uh, a little cloud in the center, they ask where these people people are and when they are told that these people are among the Christians they respond that this is impossible they are told however that Christians get this idea from the fact that in the word God is called a spirit and the only concept they have a spirit is of a piece of a cloud they do not realize that every spirit and every angel is a person however when injury was made Sorry. When inquiry was made to find out whether their spiritual concept was the same as their earthly one, it turned out that it was not the same for people who inwardly recognized the Lord as God of heaven and earth. I heard one Christian elder say that no one could have a concept of being both divine and human, and I saw him take to various non Christians more and more profound ones when he was taken to their heavens and finally to a heaven of Christians. Though the whole process, people's inner perception of God was communicated to him, he came to realize that their only concept of God was a concept of a person, which is the same as a concept of being both divine and human. The ordinary concept of God among Christians is a concept of a person because God is called a person in the Athenian doctrine of the Trinity. The better educated, though, claim that God is invisible. This is because they can understand how a human God could have created heaven and earth and filled the universe with his presence, along with other things that pass the bounds of understanding as long as people do not realize that the divinity is not in space. Still, people who turn to the Lord alone think of one who is both divine and human and therefore think of God as a person. We may gather how important it is to have the right concept of God from the fact that this concept is the very core of thinking of anyone who has a religion. All the elements of religion and of worship focus on God and since God is evolved sorry involved in every element of religion and worship whether general or particular unless there is the right concept of God there can be no communication with heaven this is why every nation is allotted its place in the spiritual world according to its concept of a human God this understanding of God as human is where the concept of the Lord is to be found and nowhere else. We can see very clearly that our state after death depends upon our avowed concept of God if we consider the opposite, namely the denial of God, and in the Christian world, the denial of the Lord's divinity constitutes hell. In the divine human one, reality and its manifestation are both distinguishable and united. Whenever there is reality, there is a manifestation. The one does not occur without the other. In fact, reality exists through its manifestation and not apart from it. 
our rational capacity grasps this when we ponder whether there can be any reality that does not manifest itself, whether there can be any manifestation except from some reality, since each occurs with the other and not apart from it. It follows that they are one entity, but distinguishably one. There are distinguishably one like love and wisdom. Further, love is reality, wisdom is its manifestation. Love occurs only in wisdom, wisdom only from love. So love becomes manifest when it is in wisdom. There are two, these two are one entity in which a way that although they can be distinguished in thought, they cannot be distinguished in fact. Since they can be distinguished in thought and not in fact, we refer to them as distinguishably one. Reality and its manifestation are also distinguishably one in the divine human one, the way the soul and body are. A soul does not occur without its body, nor a body without its soul. The divine soul of the divine human one is what we mean by divine reality. And the divine body of the divine human one is what we mean by the divine manifestation. The notion that a soul can exist and think and be wise without a body is an error that stems from deceptive appearances. Every soul is in a spiritual body after it is cast off the material skin that it carried around in this world. The the reason reality is not reality unless it is manifest in that before it happens, it has no form. If it is, sorry, if it, if it has no form, it has no attributes. Anything that has no attributes is not really anything. Whenever it is, um, manifest on the basis of its reality is one with that reality because it stems from that reality. This is the basis of their being united into a single entity. And this is why each belongs to the other. Uh, Reciprocally, sorry with each being wholly present in every detail of the other as it is in itself. If, therefore, stands to reason that God is a person and in this way is God manifest, not manifest from himself, but manifest in himself, this, is one, this one who is manifest in himself is the God who is the source of all. Uh, looks like there's going to be a subpoena for Hillary Clinton. In the minute for records related to the probe uh, into HRC's emails. Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't like to see anybody, you know, get hurt or anything like that. But this lady's got her comeuppance. Okay. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. Okay. So that's uh, page 83. Very interesting stuff, I think. Uh, Anyway, uh, whenever I think of Jesus, I, I see a human in my mind's eye. Don't you? I mean, I, you know, I, I, think, I believe that the Lord, it, you know, Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit's all in one, you know. So I know it's hard for some people to understand, but think of a tree and its roots and the ground and above it and below it and see if that doesn't help you.